What do you know about mugs? Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the Coding Blonde, and welcome to my Blonde Dictionary, where I explain computer terminology using, as I call them, blonde examples. Have you ever heard the term computer bug? What is it, and why is it called this way? Bugs are any unexpected problems with software or with hardware. So imagine you're trying to complete a task, but something goes wrong with a program, and you end up having an unexpected result. For example, the program just messes up whatever you are trying to do. Or it doesn't work the way it should be working. Or it simply prevents you from doing the task that you were hoping to be able to do. <laughs> well, these failures are called bugs. They can happen for a number of reasons and there's so many different types of them. One of the most common types of bugs is a syntax bug, where the code is written wrong. And all it takes is for someone to misspell a function, for example, or to forget a semicolon at the end of a statement. And in this case, getting rid of the bug or debugging requires a lot of attention. However, it's more or less obvious. Another common type of bug is a logic bug, where the code doesn't make sense logically and the computer doesn't really know what to do. A good example of that would be an infinite loop, where the code runs forever and ever and ever in circles, which may crash the computer. Here's an example of an infinite loop. As you can see, logically, it will run forever. And yes, while infinite loops can be used on purpose in some cases, in other cases, they will be considered bugs. But why are they called bugs? The term goes back to the 9th of September of 1945, when Grace Hopper discovered an actual moth stuck in Mark II, one of the first digital computers in the world. She recorded in her journal, commenting that it was the first actual case of bug being found. And since then, every time there was a glitch in the system, her colleagues would say that they needed to debug the machine. People say that the term bug existed prior to that, but Grace Hopper helped to popularize it. As you can see now, this word and the concept have been around for quite a while. And I hope that you now understand what it is and how difficult it may be to debug something. Because it can range from a small spelling error, which is also like finding a needle in a haystack, to a much larger issue with the program. I hope you've enjoyed this video, subscribe for more videos like this, and please comment down there if you'd like me to explain something else. Bye! <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this. And you can subscribe to Naili's channel here and to Grisha's Instagram over here. Ah! <laughs>